Snow is still covering Middle Tennessee today. We're taking a live look over Mount Juliet tonight. Police encourage residents who need help staying warm to call as we get into the more frigid evening and overnight hours. This is Adam Minster joins us live tonight from Mount Juliet with more on the conditions. Adam. Bob and Haley, I am on Central Pike right over the I-40 overpass. And while I-40 is plowed and cleared and cars are appearing to go at fairly normal speeds, these auxiliary and secondary roads, especially bridges like the ones behind me, are still filled with snow and slippery. I'm actually seeing as more cars go over them and the temperatures drop that the ice is starting to form. And all throughout the day, up and down Central Pike in Mount Juliet, and into Hermitage, we have seen cars struggling to get over even some very, very unsteep hills. We have seen people try to turn around unsuccessfully, multiple people coming together to push cars out of ditches, and people walking about half a mile up the road just to get supplies. So many people have been at home for more than two days now and are starting to need to get restless, frankly. But then there's a whole other concern. As we look into this third day of the winter weather, people are saying that they are needing to get to work, either their work is still closed or the roads around them are still unsafe to drive into work. I spoke to one man. His name is Terry. He works at a warehouse distribution center here in Mount Juliet. This is what he told me. So now what? I didn't get paid for today, too. I don't need, look, look at that car. I don't even know if I'm better to go to work tomorrow. If they know for a fact that we can't go to work, whoever it is should be like, I'm going to pay everybody. PTO, pay time off. I need that. I would love that PTO. And there are a lot of offices that will still be closed tomorrow, especially here in Mount Juliet. City offices will remain closed as well as the police administration and schools. Reporting live in Mount Juliet, Adam Mincer, News 2.